In this demo, Cresco International will demonstrate a customer response model and build the model in SPSS Modeler and SAS separately. SPSS Modeler and SAS are both advanced business analysis tools but have many differences as well. We will use a customer response model to compare SPSS and SAS. In the model, we want to know whether a customer will respond to marketing campaigns. Let's look at the model in SPSS first. We can drag a statistics file source node directly on Canvas. Then add a type node, allowing us to set data rules and a measurement. Select response as the target field and set the measurement for this field to flag. Set some other variables role to none. These fields will be ignored when you are building the model. The data includes information about customer response to four different campaigns. We will focus the analysis on the number two campaign. Use a select node to include only those records in the stream. Code campaign equals two in the expression builder. Now we can choose the model. SPSS Modeler has many different models with clear model function instructions. Here we will use an auto classifier node, which will help us to select the best model automatically. Select overall accuracy as the metric used to rank models and let SPSS give us three best models. After running the auto numeric model node, we can see the results. The C51 model has the highest overall accuracy. Double click C51 model. We will see the classification rule on the C51 model. From there, you can generate modeling nodes, model nuggets, or evaluation charts. Add an analysis node. Analysis of the three assembled models show that the predicted value matches the actual response with an overall accuracy of 92.82%. Now let's see how to build a similar model in SAS. To import the same data in SAS, first we need to code in base SAS to create a library and import the data set into the library. Then open the SAS Enterprise Miner. Create a project called Customer Campaign and specify the project path. In Property Panel, write Start Code to access the data in the library. Now let's create a diagram and name Customer. Create a data source to get the data we created in the library named Survey. In Data Source Wizard Step 5, we need to change the data role and data level, which is the same as the data role and measurement in SPSS. We need nine steps to import a data source into a project. This might take longer time in SAS than in SPSS. After nine steps, we can drag the data source on Canvas. SAS Enterprise Miner does not have the auto model node, so we will have to select all the models manually and then compare them. Under the model tab, drag the decision tree, neural network, and logistic regression. Under HPDM tab, Drab the HP, BN classifier, HP forest, and HPD tree. Then drag a model comparison node under the access tab. Connect all node together and run all of them. SAS will give us the chart analysis and statistics results. Here we focus on the fit statistics. The results show the HP tree has the best performance, which has the lowest misclassification rate. SPSS and SAS have similar functions in advanced business analytics, but compared from the user interface, time value, customized ability, and some other criteria, SPSS Modeler might be a good choice. If you want to know more functions of SPSS Modeler and SAS, contact us at Cresco International.